that you enjoyed or did not enjoy. <laughs> An emotional story. And a dash of humor. Or dare I say two. two. <laughs> yes, my comment includes all of these examples. But for you, I'd focus on just one for now. Oh, looks like somebody already replied. <laughs> huh. Seems like Chair Maya here disagrees with my comment. In these situations, we need to respond calmly and dignified. We can reply, A, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. B, please provide reasoning so I can understand your perspective. C, you wouldn't know what art is even if it fucked you in the ass. <laughs> Option C clearly has the best qualities of the three. <laughs> now Jeremiah will understand how much his opinion means to me. <laughs> hmm. Jeremiah is really trying to devalue my opinion while making his sound superior. How should we proceed? This is pretty A, good. Ignore him. B. Explain that there is no correlation between celibacy and artistic knowledge. C. <laughs> find personal information to comment on. Find personal information. <laughs> this is exactly how YouTube comments go. Dude, I can't tell you how many people, times people have came, like, I've argued with somebody on comments, and then they go to my channel and make something. They're like, oh, well, fucking, maybe you could do a fucking review of my comment or fucking whatever on your next stream. <laughs> Option C it is again. Oh, God. We can comment on a lot about Jeremiah just by going through his profile. <laughs> well, well, well. Look what we have here. We can see his appearance in about me section. And this cock starved goblin girl he calls a girlfriend. <laughs> I'd rather be celibate until I die than have that inbred mongoloid who oh. call a girlfriend. <laughs> when commenting to prove a point, weaponizing personal information is essential to your dominance. <laughs> that you've never talked to a girl. Okay. As you can see, Jeremiah here is desperately trying to paint this uh, particular character. Oh, this calls Jesus. for one thing and one thing only. Proving Jeremiah is a sexual predator. <laughs> but we don't need to exactly find that information. We can create it. <laughs> After hours of hard work, I present to you the blog written by the student victims of art teacher Jeremiah, <laughs> a.k.a. Ask Grabber Adler. Oh my god, dude. Predatory behavior. Holy shit. All very descriptive. <laughs> and it even includes a section where they make fun of his incredibly small penis. <laughs> so we'll just link that here. <laughs> and voila. Oh we my god, Adler dude. Over a barrel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh boy. I wish we could see the look of horror on his face right now. Oh my gosh. Look at all these other comments. <laughs> oh, but, uh, shit. It does seem like there is an entirely new discussion opening up here. Huh. Well, then. It looks like we've got two options here. <laughs> A. Log off and go outside. B. Add your two cents to the conversation. <laughs> well, as I always say, who needs the outside world when you're inside? The wide world of web. <laughs> oh my well, god, dude. It's certainly been a productive I needed this video right now. <laughs> day on the web. We learned how to write a good comment. Got to know other users. And spread valuable information. I'm Smithers O'Neill, and thanks for joining us on today's episode of the Wide World of Web. Dude, that was funnier than fuck. It started off when I, I was like, oh my god, this is, I thought it was going to be cheesy and like stupid. I'm like, why does this have again so many views? It, a million views in two weeks. But like, dude, I'm thumbsing that up.